friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am very very excited to share with you. I'm sure you can tell because we're finally slipping into the holiday spirit. I started decorating for the holidays a lot earlier than I normally do this year so I figured why not make a holiday themed video. Also I teamed up with HP to bring you guys this DIY using their sprocket portable printer. My snapchat fam knows I'm obsessed with this thing so get ready YouTube. Thanksgiving is long gone people. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, right around the corner. We gotta get our gifts going. We gotta get them in our heads at least. So that's what I'm here to help you out with today is getting some gift ideas down and I'm going to be filming a DIY which is such like a concept for my channel because I rarely make DIY videos. I've made maybe two of these videos in my time here on YouTube. I'm not like a DIY YouTuber, you know? So if you're looking for like bright colors and quirky music and all of these things, you're not gonna find it here. But I am going to give you a real deal, memorable DIY type thing and I'm gonna be making some heartfelt gifts for my loved ones in this video. And I just think it's really important to give the gift of love this holiday season, okay? I know that sounds a little bit corny, but still, I'm so excited to make these gifts. Ah, okay, we have to get started because I'm just over the top excited right now. So I have three gift ideas that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, and the second and the third gifts kind of stem from the first one, you know? So we might as well just get the first one out of the way. And this gift literally blows my mind. I have been dreaming of a product like this for a very long time, and it's finally here, folks. It has arrived. This is a portable photo printer that is literally smaller than the size of your phone. Like, are you kidding me right now? It's so freaking cute. You're so cute. Who let you get this cute? This little HP sprocket thing makes it so, so easy to print out your memories. And they come in like two inch by three inch little pictures. And to print stuff from it, you go into this HP sprocket app on your phone. And you can either print stuff directly from your camera roll or you can like link up your Instagram or your Flickr or your Facebook or whatever the heck you really want to do. It's Bluetooth. So it literally just hooks up to the Bluetooth on your phone. So you just pull up whatever photo you want to print. And then you hit this little print button and then it starts making magic happen on this little thing. It's literally mind-blowing. I love technology. I love 2016. What is this thing? <gasps> She's giving birth. She's coming out. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> I love my dog so much. <gasps> the photo flew. Look at this. That is so cute. Before you print the photo out too, you can add like little frames, little stickers, filters, whatever you really wanna do. Get a little creative with it, you know? I think I'm just gonna be printing some basic photos on it today, but this thing is just so convenient. I had to talk about it. This is one gift you can give this season for sure. I wanna give this to like 80 of my friends, honestly. Anybody would want this thing. So many memories to print. And speaking of memories, let's make some gifts with them. The second gift idea is going to be a mini scrapbook. So let's get into how to make that now. First things first, you gotta have a book to work with. I got this mini moleskin from Target in a pack of two for like $3. And this is gonna be a memory book for the girls I babysit for. So I just addressed it to them at the bottom. And then using my sprocket, I just printed out all of the photos that I wanted to use. And they actually have an adhesive backing. So you can just stick them onto your gift like a sticker or you can use glue if you printed them out on regular paper. And then after I stuck them all down, I just wrote little bits next to the photos about the memories I had behind that picture and drew little doodles and whatnot and by doodles I mean smiley faces and hearts because my drawing skills are pretty much non-existent so I really just focused more on writing bits about how much the girls mean to me and how much I value spending time with them and their family because I've known this family since I was nine so we definitely share a lot of memories together and I really just wanted to make this so the girls have something to look back on as they get older and I'm just so excited to give this to them for Hanukkah and add more memories into the book with them throughout the years and the third and last gift is going to be a little travel collage even if you don't go on a lot of trips you could make this of places that you want to go just for some inspiration you know or if you have a friend who likes to travel a lot you can make this for them just to get their wanderlust flowing all right let's get into how to make it so what you're going to need is actually not everything that I showed here I definitely got more supplies than I actually needed so you really just need scissors a paintbrush whatever color paint you want to use for the project a sharpie and a wooden board or a piece of paper to make your collage on and then just the sprocket to print your pics and then just start painting that board baby Maybe. I'm using this metallic silver color because I'm making this for my sister Lindsay and I knew this would match best with her apartment So pick whatever color you think fits the person that you're making for this best and then after that dried It took about 10 minutes But then I just started adding in little little things to spice it up like these little burlap flowers I got a target and then I just started spacing my pictures out and kind of measuring where to put them And then I didn't show me actually sticking them down because it's pretty self-explanatory Just put them on that board, baby, and then I just started writing um um, where all of these places that we went together were because this is kind of like a travel memory board for our road trip that we took this summer and as you can see here I messed up on Vancouver so I painted over that and then I rewrote over it again but yeah this is for my 
sister Lucinda, love me Maurice. And yeah, that's super cute and I'm super excited to give it to her. All right, so those were a couple of my gift ideas for this season. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this little DIY type video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I make videos every Wednesday and I just hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next one. Okay, stay smiling, bye. <music>